And if you've not downloaded it, be sure to download the app because you get free coins. Everybody's coming on to HAPS. Most people who watch my videos are following me on HAPS. And um, it's easy to download. All you need to do is go into my link tree, which I'm just going to post on the screen now. There we go. And then go to where it says uh, follow me on HAPS. If you click on that, there's a link. You'll get 100 free coins, which you can give to your favorite broadcasters. And um, yeah, that's basically, you'll see a lot more of the comments and messages coming through. Uh, good evening, everybody. And good evening, Chris. How are you doing? Or oh, good afternoon, Chris. Hopefully you're having a good day. So tonight I'm doing this. I showed you this earlier on when I came on. We're doing this one. This is a Simply Cook recipe. Now, if you don't know what Simply Cook is, Simply Cook are little flavour pots. You choose the recipes online through an app. Um, you get the recipe card like so. And as I said, they send you the flavour pots and then you just go and buy the extra ingredients. Uh, hello, Caroline. Lovely to see you. Uh, yeah, Chris is watching in Denver. It's amazing. The world, all, the, all the places you get to uh, travel with on this app and all the new great people out there in the world. They're all amazing, so be sure to follow each other. So, yeah, follow Chris, Caroline. I think you'd, uh, you two would get along very, very well, <laughs> um, especially if you love food, which I love food as well. Uh, so, yeah, this is a Merg curry. I've never made this before. We've got some new recipes that I'm doing this week. Uh, we're doing possibly a fish curry. We're going to do some Korean food. And, as I say, we're doing some Asian food as well. Uh, this recipe uh, is actually... Well, I'll tell you the description. It says versions of this homestyle rich curry filled with warm spices have been passed down through the head of food. Uh, it's a recipe by a, a lady called Anissa, who's family and adapted for Simply Cook. And it's perfect for entertaining or a week weeknight dining. Now, it should say it should take 30 minutes. It serves two to four people. It's medium heat and it's 720 calories. Now, um, that's hopefully how it's going to look. Uh, as I said, this is Simply Cook. You can get a free box, well, four free, four free different recipes with free delivery, I should say. But remember, it's a subscription service. Remember to cancel if you don't want them every week. Um, that, that's on my link tree. So everything's on the link tree if you want to take that out. OK, and try this yourself. I should also point out as well, I've been doing HelloFresh for the last year it's nearly a year actually i've been doing hello fresh when i do the hello fresh boxes and you never guess what if you thought that nine pound 99 that was the hello fresh was cheap enough well they're actually doing now free delivery as well so it would actually be only six pound 99 so if you're watching in the uk and would like to try the hello fresh go on the link tree go let's change my link because um for some reason, it, it it changed the link because of the new discount. So you can actually now get three meals for two people for six ninety nine, which works out at two pounds per meal. Two pounds per meal. That's just mad, isn't it? Compared to like, um, and I thought nine ninety nine was cheap enough. So yeah, if you know anybody that would like Hello Fresh, go onto my link tree and get them to do to get their first box, um, Hello Fresh box for. £6.99. Like mad. Or go and get some of these for free. Do it. Do it whilst it's whilst, whilst you can. So uh, let me go through the ingredients then for this. So you're going to need 120 grams of basmati rice. So here's my rice. I'm just going to show you what I'm using. So we're going to get that cooking straight away. But we need an onion. Let me get an onion out from the fridge. Oops. Dropping everything on the floor. Let me grab an onion. Okay, so we're going to use an onion. Okay, let me know how the connection is, guys, as well. If you always give me a thumbs up. Uh, we're going to need four chicken thighs. So I've got some chicken thighs here that I'm going to cut up. We're also going to need 200 grams of Greek yogurt. So this is uh, this is fat-free, low-fat Greek yogurt. So 200 grams of that. And then you're going to need 230 grams of chopped tomatoes. Now, again, I've got 400, so I might actually make enough here for, for about three three portions because it's always better to use up your ingredients than just leave it in the fridge. If you leave things in the fridge, you, you forget about them, and then you think, oh, you know, why am I wasting food? You don't want to be doing that. So 
Um, I might make enough for four, actually. So in that case, you'd need 240 grams of basmati rice. Uh, I've got enough thighs. I think that's going to be enough. 350 grams of Greek yogurt and then a whole tin of chopped tomatoes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, three portions, Caroline. Yep. You're welcome. You're welcome. Do you want me to save you some for Wednesday? Would you like? To... Well, that's if. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll say enough about that. <laughs> um, so, and then you want two hundred grams of potatoes, are peeled and cubed. So this is what we're going to be doing. Now it says you can swap the chicken for lamb or beef. If you don't want to use yogurt, you can use coconut milk. Let me get this on actually, because it always takes me ages for this pan to warm up. And I'm just going to put on my, put on some boiling water for the rice. So you'll see this in just a second. And get that boiling for the basmati rice. Okay, one second, everybody. Let me get all that on. Okay, so that's nice, nice, getting nice and hot. Okay, um, and then also it says here, add more yogurt and sugar if you want to make it milder. Serve with extra yogurt and salad. Yeah, because we're going to be having one tomato and half a cucumber as... Well, I might just use a quarter of a cucumber, really, if you want the, the salad. But yeah, this is this is how it's going to turn out, hopefully. So I'm going to turn you around. We're going to make the start. I should also point out, the, as I say, the box is here. This is what we're going to... This is what you get inside. So let's get this open. Here we go. So nicely coloured little pots. We've got some garlic paste. We've got some merv curry, and then we've got some seasoning as well. Okay, so I'm going to pop them to one side. Let's weigh out the rice, and I'm going to bring you down. Let me know if you can see this all right. Fingers crossed. Is that okay? Yeah, you want to see the? You want to see that? Okay. Okay, so first things first. Then I think we'll do for th we'll do enough for three portions, and not four. So instead of one hundred and twenty, I'm going to put in an extra sixty, about one hundred eighty, one hundred eighty grams. For th I'm going to do it for three. Okay, I'm going to show you, you know, like more family size meals rather than individual size. All right, where's my? I'm just going to get a bowl. <coughs> So we're doing the rice first. So what did I say? 180, didn't I? 180 grams. Although I always have quite a lot of rice anyway. Or maybe if you want, just do the rice as much as you would need. Yeah, because you can take a pack of rice with you anywhere, can't you? So just do 120 grams of rice. Now it says here to cook this, you want to um, place 75 grams per person into a non-metallic container with 350 milliliters of water per person. I'm just going to pop this straight into my hot boiling water and get that simmering. Okay, so the next thing then we're going to do is it says um, heat one tablespoon of large, one tablespoon of oil in a large pan. So let's put some, I'm going to lift it back up. Can you all see that everybody? So we're going to add some oil in here. Make sure it get nice and hot. Okay, I'm just going to turn off the turn off the scales, and we're going to now start to do the chicken thighs because it says, uh, "Oh, we're going to do the onions." We're going to do the onions first. So we've got our onion. Now I'm going to use my dicer with my container. Which I absolutely love using, as you're all aware. I nearly dropped it then. So this is a little uh, dice that I use. Okay, oh, nearly chopped my fingers off. Then we slot it on. We still need to chop. If Chris, if you're still watching me, are you um? What, if, what are you cooking on Saturday? Have you decided what you're cooking, up, cooking on Saturday? Which dessert you're doing? Although I've not heard any more about it, actually. So I'm hoping it's still happening. Oh, she's here. Alexis is here now. <laughs> I was going to invite you in, actually. Uh, I was just wondering about Saturday. I've not heard any more about it. 
We are still all okay for Saturday, aren't we? We're still doing the dessert day. I've just not heard any more about it since. I got your message as well about the coffee machine, Alexis. But I'm thinking it's a really expensive machine and I don't want... I'm not saying it's going to damage it in any way, but I don't know what to do with it just yet. I probably will. I want a solution that's going to work. And I don't want... You know, even if it's just for, it'll last me a bit longer rather than having to, I don't know yet, we'll see. Anyway, <laughs> I haven't done anything on it, but I need help to promote it and get folks to broadcast. Yes, so yeah, if, if we're still, I'm happy to still get, you know, go with it on um, on Saturday. I just, I don't know what time I'm on yet. I think I'm on at the same time um, as I was before. I think last time I was on 12, wasn't I? I came, oh, it was after Anne. So I'm, I don't know, I'll, I'll try and do the same time if possible. I've got the wrong knife here, that's why I'm going wrong. <clears throat> so I'm just going to chop the onion because I want to put it through my dicer. I'm going to slot this on like this and then just push it through. Can't see it very well, but there we go. And that's all slotted in. Hello, Silver. Lovely to see you again. So tonight we're doing Simply Cook and we're making an Indian curry. At least I think it's Indian. Oh, it's a bit tough tonight because this onion's been in the fridge. It's always best, I think, to leave your onions out a good hour before you cook with them. So we've got our onions, look, all nicely chopped up, as you can see. I'm going to pop these straight into, into a bowl. Look at that, look how easy that was to do. So, so easy and simple. So I'm going to put that to one side. We've got our rice on. Okay. Pop that rice to one side. So this is getting nice and hot. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, we need to actually cut up the chicken. So it says here the chicken thigh fillets need to be cut into bite-sized pieces. So let me just let's start to cut them before we put the onions on. Okay, I'm just going to grab some scissors. I find scissors are a quicker way of cutting up chicken. So here's the chicken thighs, look. Now, I went at Alexis, she once told me to uh, use chicken breast. Now, I normally would use chicken breast, although I made... What was it I made last week with chicken thighs? I can't remember what it was. Something I made last week with chicken thighs. And... Um, when I when I get by chicken thighs, I put them all in the freezer in the pack, and I should take them out really and individually portion size them. So it means that I'm loving chicken thighs for like five days in a row. So yeah, for two people it says four chicken thighs, but I'm usually you get a lot more chicken anyway. So I would use four or five if you've got five, use five, or even use chicken breast. If you've got chicken breast, you can swap it for, it says you can swap it for lamb or beef if you don't want to use chicken. So I'm just cutting this up into small bite-sized pieces. Okay, a second everybody. Great way to use up chicken thighs is a, in a curry. Although I'd like to maybe do this with actual, with coconut milk. But as I say, we're using Greek yogurt for this. That rice is going to be cooked soon. <laughs> okay. You all still hear me, everybody? I'm not being on for the last... I'm not... Well, I didn't come on on Friday. I actually made a mix... Oh, no, I don't know what it was. That, yeah, because I didn't come live. On Friday, I made a mix... I actually had it as an event on Hacks, but I never came live. Um... I did a Mexican chicken burger, and it was really nice. I just think I used the wrong paste, chipotle paste. I used a cooking chipotle paste and not an actual, because um, it, it was mixed in with the mayonnaise. But then again, it was quite sweet. So I don't know. Some, it, it, it had a nice taste to it. Maybe it was, it was my spices. I'm not sure. But it was like a Mexican spice that I used. But it was quite it was quite a bitter taste. It was nice, it was alright, but maybe I put a bit too much in, I don't know. 
Okay, so the chicken's chopped up. Let me just wash my hands and get rid of the. I've also got a naan bread as well that I need to put into the oven. So, first things first, then, we're going to put in the onions. It says here we're going to add the onions for six to eight minutes. So, let's get these onions in. There we go. Hopefully you can all see that really well, nice and clear. That smells really, really nice. Okay, this is the chicken by the way, I've just chopped up. Hopefully we're having a nice day, not too bad of a day. Um, I also need to do the potatoes as well. Although I might not have potatoes. No, I don't think, I'm not going to have potatoes because they've got to be cooked potatoes and I don't have time really for that. But if you've got time, I'll tell you when to add the potatoes, okay? If you're doing this. You might be watching and cooking alongside me as well. So six to eight minutes for those. And then what we're going to do then is add in the garlic paste. So have your garlic paste ready, which is your yellow sachet, your yellow tube, um, what's it called? Pot. Uh, Caroline, if you're still watching, which ones did you choose? Caroline took out um, a Simply Cook. I'm going to put the lid over the rice as well. Once that's cooked, then I'm going to turn it out and just leave it to one side. Okay. Uh, Silver says loud and clear. That's good. And then after that, we're going to add in the chicken. So it's like saying the garlic paste and the chicken go together, which are going to fry for two minutes, but I think it'll take longer than that. Then we're going to add in the merk curry paste with some water for two minutes and add tin tomatoes and seasoning to the pan and then cook for a further five minutes. And then we're going to simmer. That's when you would add the potatoes and some sugar. And then we're going to, then we're going to add in the yogurt. So fry your onions first. <coughs> Who's missed me? Who's missed my cooking? Well, it's not really my cooking as such. It's just, a, I just follow a recipe. That's all I do. <laughs> there's so many, do you know, the thing is, there's so many recipes up online, which are, which are fantastic, you know. But sometimes there's that many, you get a bit confused as to what's good for you, what's not good for you. This was a, do you remember that dal I made a while ago? This is the dal. Lentil dal, that, that's still in the box. I'm going to have that for my lunch tomorrow. It's just uh, defrosting. So you want to wait until these go a bit golden. What I like about this dicer and any tool really that cuts up finely onions is when you when you cut them up and you cook them, they'll all cook evenly, which I really like. I'm going to turn the pan down a little bit. It's a bit hot. So softening down now, which is good. So we've got the onions and we're going to add in the garlic paste. Let's get the garlic paste in now, shall we? Let's start to add the chicken as well. So with, with these little pots you get, sometimes you find that there's some on the, on the, on the edge, you know, on the lid. So make sure you get rid of all those. Don't waste any. So we're going to add in the garlic. Here we go. Let's drop this in. Get all that out. 
Use the spoon. You can either just mix it into the onions if you wish. Oh, this smells really nice. Oh, that smells good. I wish you could smell this right now. This is the only problem about cooking. Okay, and then we're going to add in, add in the chicken. So let's get the chicken and add all that in. Can you all see that everybody? We've got our chicken thighs in there and the onions and the garlic paste. So it says chick you wanna you wanna fry it for two minutes and then we're gonna add in the paste, the curry paste. Oh, this is smelling really nice guys. This is smelling really nice. Let me get my naan bread on. Because the naan bread tape, actually the naan bread tape. How long does it take? Oh, it's only says three minutes, but it'd be nice to have it ready so I can just put, easily put it into the oven. These are the naan breads we just picked up from the supermarket. Let me know what you're having for your tea tonight, or maybe you've already eaten, I'm not sure. Here are the naan breads, garlic naans, which are going to go into the oven. Oh, this is smelling really nice everybody so this is a basic way of doing curry is you do your onions you'd add your spices in uh, or you'd add your chicken in after that and then oh, so you add your garlic your onions then your meat and then we're going to add in the uh, paste the merg curry paste You had a, oh, a cheese omelette with some crispy bacon and diet coke. Not very interesting. Sounds nice. Anything with bacon sounds nice, though, doesn't it? Mm. I just cooked the chicken, even though it says two minutes. Well, actually, let, let's follow the recipe. Because we're going to be adding in some... Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to wait until the chicken's cooked a bit longer. Then we're going to add the paste in. So we're going to add the adding water to this. Just as a splash of water. It will cook in the tomatoes that we're going to be adding to this. So don't forget the three S's everybody, I know I, I try not to mention it too often, but if you um, please share this broadcast if you can, um, so new, we can get new people on to hats. Um, also subscribe if you're not subscribed already, believe it or not, the amount of people I used to go in to watch and then I'd forget to subscribe to them and you're thinking, I wish I, you know, who's that person who made all that food? Can't remember his name. So make sure to subscribe. Same on Instagram as well. Follow me on Instagram to find see the, all the extra pictures that I post. And uh, what I might do is try and upload the actual 
ingredients the recipe actually onto Instagram. I'm not sure yet. But I usually just post a picture up. But I'm, something I might consider doing for more information about this, about the food. Um, and then finally is sponsor. So you don't have to sponsor me directly, but you can send awards, which you can get from filling out your profile by doing that live yourself. You can buy coins as well. Um, so you can buy awards. So that's the great thing about this app that I really like. Which, um, you know, several people have sent awards, which is amazing. And um, we've got, I got a super hot from Silver. So thank you very much, Silver. Everybody follow Silver. Okay. No longer pink, so I'm happy about that. So now we're going to add in the Merg curry paste. Okay, we're going to add the Merg curry paste. Let's have a smell of this. Oh, that's got a kick to it. Smells delicious, though. So let's get this in. So this is the Merv curry paste, and I like the, I like the portion sizes. You know how everything is, you know, measured out for you. So you're not adding too much or too little. So we're going to add, we're going to mix this in, and then we're going to add some, mix that all into the chicken. Remember, this is on a low heat, it's not on too high. See how it's changing colour? Get all them onions that have climbed their way out of the... Uh... This is all fresh, everybody. It's not, it's not made from, you know, any sauces or anything like that. Look at the colour of that, everyone. So we're going to add some water now. A little bit of water. Splash of water, there we go, that's my splash. So I really mix that in once everything's fried down. Got a nice little bit of juice there so it doesn't uh, burn the pan. And get all that off the bottom of your pan as well. If you find that you've got anything at the bottom of your pan, I like to just scrape it. Remember, to use a wooden spoon. That was a big tip Alexis told me. My rice is actually cooking nicely. Now we've still got tomatoes to add to this. I'm just going to let that sauce just, just giving it two minutes, then we're going to add the tomatoes. So you want a tin of chunky chopped tomatoes or any tomatoes you might have in your cupboard. What do we think, everybody? Yeah, does that look okay? So I'm just going to get the tin open. I would turn it up slightly, but I don't. I think the rice is done. Let me just mix the rice up. There you go. The rice is done. So here's, here we've got our basmati rice. So I'm going to just give it a stir. And then cover it over. Did I throw out the old pan? Um, <laughs> I haven't, no, but I'm only have, I haven't, until I get a new one, until it's replaced, that's when I will get a new one, and that's when I'll, I'll get rid of it. Oops, move that to one side, because I might be, I will be using it, I'll be needing it actually on, possibly tomorrow or Wednesday. Probably Wednesday. Okay, so now we're going to add in the chopped tomato. So because there's enough there for her between three and four portions, so I'm going to add the whole tin in because I'm not going to use the rest. So we've added the mercury paste. We're going to add in the tin tomatoes, and then we're going to add some seasoning. So let's add the tomatoes to the pan. this a stir. So we've got fresh tomatoes in here as well and then we're going to add in the seasoning. So this is called Anisus seasoning. Although I can tell you exactly what's in it because <laughs> it tells you on the back. 
So Nisa seasoning, we've got coriander, cumin, turmeric, and chili powder. So there you go, coriander, cumin, turmeric, and chili powder. So there you go, you can go make that yourself. You're not so special anymore, is it? <laughs> sure, it'll taste nice, though. and then we're going to add all this in. Let me turn it up. Oh, have I just turned it off? Turn the wrong one. I've turned the wrong one off. I've turned the uh, pan off instead of the, instead of the rice. Doesn't matter though. We're going to add all this in, and then we're going to let this cook for five minutes. What do we think, everybody? Oh, it's really, really good colour, doesn't it? So, let's give that a good mix. Doesn't matter. That I turned it off <laughs> because. The pan's really hot anyway, so just it won't simmer. So we're just going to add it in gradually. All our spices. Some people add the spices to your chicken. I like to, well, this recipe says to add it to the, after you put it into tomatoes. So we're going to cook this for five minutes. Gives me a chance to read some of the comments. So our rice is done. Silver, I'm not sure if you can get Simply Cook. I think you can. If you want to try this yourself, or a similar recipe, go into my link tree and go down to where it says Simply Cook and you'll get four free recipes with free delivery. But double check. Uh, or if you want to try the HelloFresh box, if you've never had HelloFresh before and want to give that one a try, there is currently a promotion on that saying that you get free delivery. Uh, is it on my profile? Uh, yes, it is. The link tree is on my profile. Um, but if you want to try HelloFresh and get three meals for two people for only £6.99, then there's a link in my bio as well. So it's currently £6.99 because you're getting free delivery, which they usually charge £3. But just make sure to cancel if you don't want them every week. Or, so, you know, cancel your... So this is Simply Cook. This is the box. These are the boxes. HelloFresh is where you get all the ingredients in the box. So get it while it's cheap. If you've never had it before, just make sure to cancel it. Because otherwise you don't want to be charged every week. But as long as you cancel it, once once you receive your... Um... I, I usually do... I think I usually give it like three days. And then just cancel the ones that you don't want. Oh, is there any keto ones? I'm not sure, but there's there's a lot on there, and it has been updated recently, so it's definitely worth checking it. I think they have like a filter where you can just change which ingredients, recipes you want to, you know, what you don't want. So the heat is back on now, guys. It was literally on for about off for about two or three minutes, so it will start to simmer so it also says here then after five minutes turn the heat down anyway and then we're gonna you would add your cooked potatoes so if you're having potatoes at this point add your chopped potatoes in to it okay um and then you want to add in we're going to add in one table one teaspoon yeah one teaspoon of sugar and cook for a minute and then we're going to start to add in the greek yogurt to this dish So I'm going to give it a few more minutes just to let all that chicken. I could put the lid over if I wanted to. But... Um, now let's get some tomatoes out and start to do the side. I'm going to, I won't put the naan breads in just yet. So I'm going to just get some tomato. In. Have kept my old cucumber that I got. So we've got some tomatoes here and we've got some cucumber. Okay, so I'm only going to chop off a small piece of this cucumber because I don't want loads. It does ask for half. So that's enough and then just chop off the end so you're not wasting it. And 
And then what I'm going to do is pop this into a bowl. See how it's starting to simmer now. So I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes. Oh, this smells really nice. This smells absolutely amazing, everybody. So I'm just going to chop these up very, I've got my other knife. Chop my tomatoes in half. And they can't really see what I'm doing, but all I'll be doing is adding it to the plate. I just like to have things ready. And do it whilst everything else is cooking. So with the cucumber then, I'm just going to take off the... Don't just hate it when you get all this plastic on fruit and vegetables. Just not what... It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Not needed. So with the cucumber... Uh, yeah, it needs to be... In fact, we can use the dicer. So our little dicer here, or my little dicer. I'm just going to slot this in. Are you ready for this, everybody? Hopefully I've done it the right way. Three, two, one. On. Oh, I did it the wrong way. <laughs> I was meant to get the cubes, but I've done it the other way. It doesn't matter, though, because it's all edible. And I'm just going to... There's the tomatoes, and there's the chopped-up cucumber. So, look how simple that was. So it's ready to go on the side. Give this a nice stir. Turn it down again. I've turned it too high this time. This is going to be absolutely amazing. Turn my oven down slightly as well. So as I say, you would add your you would add your potatoes now in at this point. Uh, we're just going to add a teaspoon of sugar. Just add a teaspoon of sugar. And then we've only got, so in goes the sugar, there we go, and then what we're going to do is start to add in the Greek yoghurt. I'm going to put in the naan breads now so they're nice and crispy, just going to sprinkle a little bit of water on, and then pop these in the oven. I think one's enough, you don't always need loads. So here's the naan bread everybody, I'm going to put that in the oven now. Keep the oven nice and hot. That shouldn't take too long. A couple of minutes depending on how, how hot your oven is. Okay, um, so next up we're going to add in the yoghurt. Now it's, you want 350 grams if you're doing it enough for four people. I'm going to do it for three, so I'm in between 200 to 350, so I'm going to use 250 grams of, uh, sorry, not 250 grams, 200, yeah, 250 grams, which is half this amount, and it makes it easier for me to say, okay, I've got 250 grams of Greek yogurt left, and I know I can go off the measurement. So you want to add in this using, um, well, let me just stir that with the sugar. You want to add this using a tablespoon, a tablespoon at a time, gently stirring. So in goes the first one. I'm just going to slowly start to stir this in. So gently stir it, it says. Oh, this smells really good. Um, so it says, I'll have a look. Okay. You definitely check it out because it is definitely worth, it's worth it just to give it a try. As I say, and if you know, you're not always, um, what's the word? You're not always committed to having it. You know, it's not like, but it's definitely worth getting something for a reasonable price. <laughs> so I'm just going to slowly add this in. As I say, we're only adding half. Look at the colour on that. Can you all see that colour, everybody? This smells amazing. I don't know what it would be like with potatoes in, but... So I'm just going to add it in a spoonful at a time, and then just mix it in. 
Got the Nam Reds on. As I say, you can use coconut milk if you want to, but I think I'm not actually sure which is healthier. Low fat Greek yogurt or coconut milk. Hmm, I'll have to double check that. Add another spoonful in. See how it's changing colour. I'll just turn it slightly back up. I have a feeling this is going to be amazing. Okay, I think I'd probably go for about six tablespoons of Greek yogurt. I might add an extra one. And maybe I'd add a little bit more chicken as well, in as well. But I think that actually is, a, is going to be enough. Look at the colour on that, everybody. I wish you could smell this because it does smell amazing. Let's have a little taste. A little taste. The perks of being the chef is you get to try everything first. So, cheers, everybody. Wow. Oh, my word. Mm. Mm. I can see why you need the Greek yogurt. <laughs> and let's add a few more in. Yeah, I can see why you need the Greek yogurt. That is quite mild. I can tell you. What, what was the level again? This is a medium. So yeah, I would add a little bit more Greek yogurt in if you don't want it too spicy. There you go. That's why you taste things early to know how hot something might be. That's definitely coming from the cayenne pepper, the seasoning. So if you're making your own seasoning, just don't put as much cayenne pepper in. Or use more yogurt. Okay, let's add one more in. I'm just going to add one extra. I think that's enough. I think I put a little bit too much in so, of Greek yogurt, but I do. I don't like it too hot. And then it just says serve over rice with tomato and cucumber. Yeah, it does say there, serve with extra yogurt. If You can add, add the extra yogurt on the side if it's too spicy. But this is it. This is it, everybody. This is nearly cooked. I'm just going to give it a few minutes because I want it to, uh, like that chicken, you know, cook really nice. So, <clears throat> Are we still there, everybody? Can you still hear me? Just give me a... Give me an emoji if you can hear me. So let me get a, oh, let me check the naan bread. I think that's done. Turn that off. I'm not going to do loads of naan bread. I hear it's starting to simmer again. This pan is really hot anyway, so. <clears throat> okay, let me take out my naan bread. I thought I'd lost my, uh... Here's the naan bread. Well, actually, that could be a bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Because the oven's not on. Okay, get some plates. Thanks, Silver. Alexis is still here. Good, good. So, we're going to start to serve now. So, we're going to add the rice first. Let me check the rice because it's it has been sitting there a while, but it has been covered, so it should be all right. Yeah, it's nice and hot. So according to the picture, yeah, the rice goes around the plate. I'm very picky when it comes to how you know presentation. Quite a sticky rice, isn't it? Is basmati rice? Uh, you can either just put it on the side and your curry or just do it on the top. It's up to you. Do another one. Might be a minute guys. Mm. 
Now this is the correct portion size for this dish. I, if you don't want as much rice, because you might think there's quite a lot of rice there, then don't cook as much rice. It's that, that simple. Don't eat and don't cook what you don't want to eat. Oh yeah, this looks amazing. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to start to add this on the plate. Let's bring you down a bit. Whoops, you all see that? There's the curry, look at that, oh yes. What do we think everybody? And then we can put some cucumber on the side, a few tomatoes, if you like tomatoes. There you go. Gonna put another little, just a small amount on the top. And that is our dish, everybody. I will lift it up just in a second. Let me just do my second one. And there should then still be some left in the pan. This looks absolutely amazing. There's lots of chicken. Oh yeah, there's at least here enough here for three. Oh yeah. Let's add a little bit more chicken. I do love chicken. So it's got tomatoes in this. As I say, if you want to know the recipe, just just watch my video back. See, doesn't it? And I won't punch my weight. So there we go. Everybody, we lift you up. So I'd like to show you. angle Oops. Oh, breads. No. Bread. let me put a bit of um, bread on Show you how it 